everyone, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Copy Crochet, and today I'm here to show you how to do this elephant border. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I've already done this twice, but because I had such crappy video quality back then, I am having to do it again a third time. I've had so many requests to do it, so I just have to bite the bullet and do it again. I was hoping that the last one I made wouldn't have been so bad, but I guess there was just too much buffering going on. So now that I have this uh, awesome and dandy camera, we're gonna do this again. So if you've seen this and you don't wanna watch it again, I totally understand. But um, for the people who requested it, here you go. Now, just to let you know, I am on Facebook Live. So if you hear me talking to people, I'm not crazy um, because I will be downloading this later on YouTube and those people be, will be watching on there and they may hear me talking. So I always let you, let you, you guys know about that um so yeah please like share and subscribe on youtube if you can please 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 it helps so much we are over a thousand subscribers and as soon as summer is such a busy time for us with the family here and doing uh, camping and vacations and working and just so much going on around here um i am planning to do a giveaway i have not forgotten you guys i am so proud to be over a thousand subscribers um, it took me a long time to get here, but I'm just proud and I appreciate everything that y'all have done to help me out with that. Um, and that's why I'm still doing Facebook Live is because that's where I started and that's where a lot of the people started watching me first. So I'm not going to give up on them. And by the way, if you're on Facebook watching this and not on YouTube, please like, share, please hit that notify um, button that's on the live video to let you know when I stream live. Okay, so let me quick yak in and let's get into the materials I'm using. I'm using a five um, millimeter hook or a size H. Um, I, you will need a pair of scissors and you will need a darning needle. If you're new to my channel or new to crocheting and you don't know what a darning needle looks like, it looks like this. And it also could be called a crochet needle, okay? Um, and just to let you know real quick, this is a decent sized elephant. Um, it's pretty large. I wanted it to be large, um, but you could make it smaller and the way to make it smaller is to use a smaller hook and smaller yarn. You could even use that um, thread thread yarn that they call and use a very small hook and make very tiny elephants around here and just use the same pattern. You could even make it bigger by going to a thicker yarn and using even a bigger hook than this. So you can always make it bigger and, or smaller. I just like this because it's just really, you can really tell what it is, okay? I am using some of the mosaic blocks I've been working on, been putting them together, and I thought it would be cool to see um, what, um, the elephant would look like around these because it already is green and looks really cool. By the way, if you want to know how to do this mosaic, this large, look at how big that is, large mosaic granny square, I do have a video on that. You can check that out on Facebook or you can check it out on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do this around. So I am using, everyone wants to know what I'm using when it comes to yarn, but you can use whatever you want. If you want to know the colors for the mosaic granny square, you can find that on YouTube or Facebook and all the colors and materials are listed in there. But as far as this border, this is just a cotton blend that I got from Walmart. And I'm sorry, I don't remember the name of it, but they come in big, uh, these big loops, <laughs> whatever you want to call them, cones. And they're wrapped around, they're really thick. And I use this uh, cotton material for a purse. Does really good um, for purses um, and stuff like that because it's cotton and it's sturdy. Okay gonna shut up now. Hope everyone's having a lovely day today. I can't wait to get back to the campground. We've been camping. We came back in for a little bit, so I'm excited to get back there. So, okay. This elephant, I had some questions on the videos that I made prior, so I'm going to try to address all of those within this video. And one of the common questions that I got with that elephant border is um, that how they want to know how when we get to the end do we attach this so i did this one over here so this is like going to be our last elephant and i'm going to show you what you do so that if you're going around a blanket for a border you know what to do when you get to the end okay so that's why that lone little elephant is sitting there by himself 
And then I'm gonna use this right here to show you how to do the actual elephant border. Okay, we're just gonna do a couple of those. And then I'll show you how to, if you were doing your last one, how to hook it in. Now, um, whatever blanket that you're using, this is in multiples of 10. So keep that in mind. Um, remember that what you can do, um, if you are, if you've got a blanket like this and you know you need multiples of 10, when you're doing your sides of your blanket, just make sure that you end on a multiple of 10. You know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. If you're making an Afghan, you are gonna be up in the hundreds. Just make sure that you end in a mul multiple of 10 and then all of your elephants will work out together. Now remember this, and I'm famous for saying this, if for some reason you missed one or you missed a count or something happened, guys, listen, it's still going to turn out beautiful. Don't stress about stuff like that. If when you come around, you have to miss one or, you know, do something, it, it's going to be beautiful. So don't worry about it. But it will help to go around the edges of your blanket like I did here. And I just went and put an edge so that I just have clear single crochets to work into. So I would suggest doing that. But that's totally up to you. You don't have to. So I'm gonna come right in here, just like we're gonna pretend um, like we're starting, uh, we're starting your border on a brand new blanket. So we're gonna pretend like this elephant's not here. We're gonna go right into our first single crochet there. We're gonna bring in our yarn. Okay. And we're going to slip stitch six over, okay? So we're going to go right into this next space right here. There's one slip stitch, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? And then when you get to that six slip stitch there, you're going to chain up three. One, two, and three. That's gonna count as your first double crochet. And you're gonna go right into the same spot and you're gonna do another double crochet. And I say another because that first one counts as your first double crochet. Then you're going to chain two and you're going to skip two, one and two. And then you're gonna go into the third and do two double crochets, one and two. Okay, then you're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and then you're going to turn your work, okay? When you turn your work, I want you, that's going to count as your first uh, double crochet, so then you're going to go into the top of the second, and you're going to put a double crochet. Then you're going to go into the middle here, and you're going to put two double crochets. And then you're going to put a double crochet in the top of each of these two right here. This first one that we did, there's one double crochet, and then we're gonna go into this. This one, that chain of three that we first did, it's gonna be hard to find the top of that. Just kind of put it in there somewhere and get you a double crochet in there, right there at the top. Just don't forget it, okay? And now we're working on the body, okay? So now we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And you're going to count over five. One, two, three, four, and five. And you're gonna go right, or actually six, and you're gonna go right into that first slip stitch that you did, and you're gonna put a single crochet, okay? And that's the tail. So now we're gonna work back up the tail, so we're gonna turn our work again and we're gonna work back up the tail, okay? So to work back up the tail, we're just gonna do slip stitches all the way back up. So there's one, two, three, and four, and you will lose a stitch when you turn your work like that. So everything's fine, there's four. Then you're gonna go into this first 
the top of this first stitch right here and you're going to put a single crochet. Then you're going to go into the next stitch and put a half double crochet. Then you're going to go into the next four and put one double crochet in each. So there's one, two, three, And you see how that looks wonky? Just get right up there on the top for our fourth double crochet. Just don't forget it. Okay, so there's the body of our elephant and now we're going to work on the ears and the head, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we're going to loosely chain two, okay? Because we wanna work into this later. So not too loose, but loose, just like this, pretty loosely. And then you're going to go right down, right here, you're going to see a V, right down there at the bottom, and you're going to put a single crochet down there at the bottom, okay? And there you've created a loop to work into. But we're not going to work, work into this loop yet. We're going to work back here around this last double crochet that we did right here, okay? Well, the next to last double crochet, okay? So this is what it looks like. You've just created a loop. There's a double crochet down below that. You're gonna work at the one right before. So right here, you're gonna work right around that post, okay? And you're going to put a single crochet to start. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then you're going to put five double crochets around this double crochet. So there's one. two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, and three. And then you're going to single crochet right back into all of this into that same spot, okay? So there is an ear completed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work into our loop, okay? We're gonna work into this loop right here. So what you wanna do is you just kinda of wanna turn your elephant this way now. And now you're gonna be working and it can be kinda of hard to find the middle of this loop. That's why we do it so loosely and even with that, it's still kind of hard to find because you want to get in the middle of the loop and not in the actual stitches themselves. So I found the middle and I'm going to put a single crochet. So I'm going to repeat exactly what I did before into this loop that we created. Okay, so now I'm going to chain up three, one, two, and three. And then I'm going to put five double crochets. One. two, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna go right back in that same spot and do a single crochet, okay? So that's my other ear. Now, when I turn it back, this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look, um, this is going to be kind of crossing over like this, just like that, and that's okay. That's the way that you want it to look. It almost looks like a butterfly. You can see that you have a space here, and you can see how that's going around, okay? So that's normal. That's what it should look like. Let me turn it to the side and show you that way, okay? So then I'm going to take this, and again, I'm going to loosely uh, chain two, one and two, okay? Now what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna work in between, there's a space right here, in between the two ears, and I'm going to put a single crochet, okay? Just like that. And now I'm going to be working into this loop. So I'm gonna flatten the ears over so that I can now work into this loop. And now what we're going to do, sorry, I gotta shake out my hands. <laughs> they were going numb. So now what I need to do is make the head into this loop, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right into the middle of this. I'm gonna put a single crochet and I'm gonna chain up three. One, two, and three. And then I'm gonna put three more double crochets into that loop. One, two, and three. Okay, now I'm gonna work on my trunk and to do that, I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four and five and then I'm gonna slip stitch down this trunk okay so one two three and four okay then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go right here there's gonna be a space right there between the trunk and the head right here right under the head you're going to put a single crochet, okay? Then you're gonna chain one, and you're gonna go into the next little space that you have right here, where we made the loop, and you're gonna put another single crochet. Then you're gonna chain one, and now we're working down, okay? Right here, down the side of the elephant. So, this is the top, and we're working our way down this way, down the front legs, okay? So now we're gonna go right in between here, and we're gonna put a single crochet, and then we're going to chain one, and then we're gonna find a neck space right here, and then we're gonna put another single crochet, then we're going to chain one, then we're gonna go right here, we found another place, do another single crochet, chain one, and then finally we'll put a single crochet right here down at the very bottom. And that completes the elephant. So let me just turn it this way so that you can see it better. Make sure that it's all right here. And look at that. You have the cutest little elephant, okay? Right there. And so what you would do is you would just repeat that again, except for in the next one, I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna show you how to do the elephant again. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to tie in the nose, okay? So what you would do to go to your second one, your second elephant, my single crochet tried to come undone, so I'm just gonna repeat that there, okay? So now what you would do is just like you did before, you're gonna slip stitch six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, And then you're going to chain three, one, two, three. Then you're going to put another double crochet. Thank you, Melinda. Then you're gonna chain two. You're gonna skip two, one, two. And then in the third, put two double crochets. So you're doing it just like we did the other elephant. I'm just gonna go to the point where I show you how to work in the trunk um, because I just showed you how to do the whole thing. So there's no point in going over it again. So chain up three, turn your work. Put a double crochet right in the top of the other double crochet. And then in the middle, 
you're going to put two double crochets. And then another double crochet on the top of the other one. So that makes six for a total across. Don't forget that this first one we did is a little wonky. So get there right at the top and don't miss it. Okay. And now we're going to work on the tail. So we need to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you would count back one, two, three, four, five. Put a single crochet right there. That fifth going back into that fifth slip stitch there. And then you're going to turn your work again. Okay, just like we did before. And you're going to slip stitch up. But what you're going to do is, is you're only going to slip stitch three this time. One, two, and three. And this is when we're going to bring in the trunk. Okay. So what you're going to do is, is you've slip stitched up three. Okay. So you're going to pull up this yarn just so we don't misplace it there. Okay, we've got our elephant here. So what I like to do is just go right through two loops here. And it's like the second um, chain there on the elephant nose. Actually, I think it may be a little, well, I, I don't know. I think I could go through it. Go through those two right there, as you can tell, going through those two. And then I'm going to pick up this loop so I'm going to tighten that back down now that I picked it up there and then I'm just going to work that in for a slip stitch right through there okay just like that and then I would continue with one more slip stitch because remember we slip stitched up four there and then I would just continue on with my elephant just like I showed you before so you would go into this first stitch and do a single crochet go into the next do a half double crochet then into the next four you need to put one double crochet one two three and four and don't forget this one make sure you get to the top of it that one got a little crazy on me okay but at any rate that's the way that that's done I'm not gonna go into the head because you can you can rewind and look at that if you need to um, but that is how you get the trunk attached to over here okay so that's the way that that's gonna work all right so like I said just rewind if you need to um, to go back and show you how to do them again and then you'll eventually just remember it and you can just go on and do it through the whole thing okay so now what I want to show you is how you're going to hook this because okay we started these elephants and now we're gonna pretend we've come around and we finished with our last elephant so the question is is how in the world will we get this in here because there's nowhere else to go because if you've done multiples of 10 this is the way it's gonna end so what you would do is is you would just take a little bit of thread and you would just like before you would hook this into the third up one two three and then you would just take some thread if this is the way yours ends and if it somehow ends differently just you know make sure that you hook this to the end somehow okay just make it work to where it looks the same but I would just take a little bit of thread and then I would work that in sew it in and then they would look all the same okay now for the corners of your work um, I just want to tell you it's exact nothing changes you just keep doing it all the way around it will turn out beautiful there's nothing that you need to do for your corners it's all the same so just take some uh, yarn and a darning needle and just hook that in to the third third chain there okay um, and that's how yours should end okay 
So there we go. We've done the elephant border. We've done the giraffe border. I'm sorry if you've seen this a hundred times before and it's another repeat. Um, and so then soon, as soon as I get back from camping, um, we're going to have another video. I think we're probably going to do the puppy dog border next. And somewhere in between, we're going to learn how to make a little pony. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to remind you again to please like, share, subscribe. If you're on Facebook, please like, share, and hit the notify me button. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.